Some of the most powerful hair raising machinery will be screaming through the sky this weekend when the Charleston Air Show becomes airborne. Let's welcome Captain Michael O'Connor, Air Show Air Boss from Joint Base Charleston. Great to have you with us. Great to be here. There's something about seeing those planes flying through the sky. It Real, it's an emotional experience, and this is just as much showing off the machinery as it is the expertise of the pilots, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's, a, it's an opportunity to showcase all the skills that they built from day one of pilot training all the way through their professional careers. And all of these planes, these are wartime planes, aren't they? They are, yeah, all the way from World War II, those aircraft, and up until we have the F-22, so newest to oldest. And the maneuvers that are done, is this something that is actually done during battle? or is this more for show, for performance? Yeah, absolutely, that's a great question. For the Thunderbirds, definitely, they fly these maneuvers. Uh, it's what we use to train for battle. This is just showcasing a little bit of those expertise in a way that adds some flair to it. Yeah. But it is techniques combined together of what they would learn to survive in the battle environment. How long does it take to learn how to fly one of these planes, but then also to get so proficient at these aerobatics, as you call it? Yeah, so pilot training takes a, roughly about a year to get to, to your wings. Then you shift to your specific platform, that's about another year. And then the Thunderbirds fly in other airframes for, for anywhere from three to five years yeah. to become the expert in that platform. And then they get invited to come on. So the Thunderbirds have been working for the better part of a decade to become the best in the sky. I was going to say, that's a, that's a really tough club to be a part of, isn't it? Yeah, they fly, I mean, they fly very close together, so it's a very challenging position. Yeah, how far apart? It, it's like less than two and a half feet. Oh my God. So, so you, it's a precision, you, you can't be off by a, a millimeter. Th those guys are like surgical doctors. Incredible, incredible. And I wanna learn more about your military experience as well, but if you can just paint a, a little bit more of a picture of this weekend's show and how many planes are gonna be on display, how many pilots are taking part. Okay, absolutely, yeah. We yeah. can start kind of where it started for me. Yeah. So. 30 years ago, I was at an air show as well, sitting on my dad's shoulders under the wing of an airplane, thinking, man, this is for me. And so going, uh, growing up, going through pilot training, doing this whole process, it was motivation for me. And now it's my opportunity to give back, put on an air show for somebody who's gonna be out there with the same eyes that I had 30 years ago at <gasps> airplanes. Yeah. And so we wanted to get together all the best airplanes out there. So we have 43 static aircraft coming. We have 22 aerial performers that'll be performing. We'll have over 250 aviators out there with us. Wow. Uh, and then we're expecting well over a thousand volunteers over the weekend and then bringing out throughout the course of the whole weekend, we're gonna try to have about 80,000 people on base. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> that's a lot yeah. of people. And, and let's talk a little bit about Flight of the Heroes. So, yeah. so this is a very special moment during the air show. Tell us more about this. Yes, we have a couple events going on. So our theme is, is the heroes of flight. And so that's kind of tying together the, her the heritage that we have at Joint Base Charleston. So celebrating the 80th anniversary of D-Day, 75th anniversary of the start of the Berlin Airlift. Uh, it's been three years since Operation Ally Refuge that our, our heroes here in Charleston. So we're just trying to highlight and celebrate heroes across the board. And, yeah. and one of those things that the Thunderbirds is doing is they're, they're taking up a local hometown hero to fly with them. So Charleston got to nominate select Collect and, and reward one amazing Charlestonian to go up and fly with them. She's a, she's a local teacher. She is a teacher. She had the highest number of nominations. Her students nominated her, multiple people nominated her, and just attested to how great her not only character is, but how much she's given to the Charleston community. And what a wonderful experience for her that's going to be. Absolutely. It's, I'm, I'm very jealous of this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you've been flying now for how long? Uh, in the Air Force, I've been in them for six years. Six years in the Air Force. And what was it like getting behind the wheel of the plane and taking off for the first time on your own with your wings? I don't even know that words can describe that. I'm just, I was trying to like, when you asked that, I was like, man, I, the first time we push the throttle up on an airplane, it is unlike any other feeling. Like everything that you've worked towards when you're in that jet for the first time solo and you're taking off is you get pushed back in your seat and you take off and it's it's all you. Yeah. Like there's a machine that is working for you, but where you go and what you do, it's all up to you. So. It's a lot of pressure. It, it's a lot of fun too. Yeah, <laughs> I like the glasses half full. I oh, can yeah. see that, absolutely, absolutely, yes. And then uh, talking about all those professional pilots and just what a tremendous job that they do. And and just such beautiful, it's just such a beautiful sight seeing those planes and hearing the engines roaring through the sky. It really, it lifts the hair right off your arm. 
I 100% agree with that, and everyone that we interact with in the community says that too, is as soon as they feel like the roar of the engine, they're just like, I remember going to the air show with my grandpa, yeah. with my dad, oh, my dad flew this, and there's always, it brings up an emotion of, of nostalgia. Yeah, Everybody's absolutely. just thinking they're like, it brings them back to a time where, where, where things are just good. Yeah, and so. proud to be an American. 100%. 100%. Well, thank you so much for your service, Captain. And, and for anybody who wants tickets, you can always go onto the website and make sure you go and get them. Saturday is already sold out, but we do have okay. them on Sunday. If you know somebody with tickets on Saturday, carpool with them because there, there's no more tickets for Saturday, <laughs> but Sunday we do have tickets available at carpool, carpool, carpool. Excellent. And the weather should be great. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks. We're back after this.